Track 11 on the album, Wrong in the Head, is probably the most similar to some of my older stuff in terms of the storytelling. And the sort of, I suppose it's one of the only songs on the album which has got an element of, I suppose, cheekiness to it and uh, fun. Uh, the song is essentially about being stuck in East London at 6, 7 a.m. or whatever and you've got no charge on your phone and you've lost your wallet and you've been chasing a girl all night with the hope of going back to hers and you failed and now you've got to walk home yeah it's not like a special especially especially unique idea i just wanted to have something a bit more fun and something that's going to go off live and it's kind of like a bit beastie boys a bit prodigy um and uh quite rocky as well. It's actually a 140 BPM song, so it's a dubstep tempo, but it's double time. So it's pretty pretty quick raps. And it was produced by a guy called Tom Neville, who is one half of Retrograde, amazing dance producers. And I did the song with him, and then when we played it next to everything on the else in the album, it sounded great, but it just didn't sound like it fit with everything else in the album. So we gave the song to Brooks Brothers, who did microphone. And I said, look, don't change it too much. If you want to replace a couple of sounds or replace the drums or whatever, or give it a new mix, but you know what the rest of the album sounds like, it needs to fit with that. And I think they did an amazing job because it's, the song doesn't sound out of place now. Like lyrically, it's probably the only song in the album which doesn't fit entirely with the message of the album. But it fits it, it slots in somewhere as part of the whole big picture and the story. And I think it's, it makes sense for it for, to be like, a one-off aggressive song towards the end of the album. It's kind of like, if I had to drop Hooligans from the set, this would be the song to replace it. And I think it's better as well. And then you've got, uh, yeah, that, that mid-late in it where the piano comes in. No more fun nights for you, young man. And then the singing was me doing my best impression of uh, Tom from Kasabian. I don't know if I succeeded, but, uh, now my fine night. Not, not bad. We'll see how this one goes now.